Well, it seems that the strife of um, mankind is the strife between each other. It's much and division and warring and horribleness going on. It's much to do with this problem of the need for organizations, but their deficiency from a point of view of human relationship. And, well, I'm tempted casually to say there's not much we can do about it. But we have examples of outstanding people whom we might call saints or if we're not if we find that too emotive a word and it repels we might call them uh, uh, fine people or some some individuals who seem to not be part of this strife um just don't seem to be part of this strife concerned with if you like politics and organizational structure and and so on and so forth they seem to have a personality that a way of dealing with things that well at least at least majorly minimizes being part of such division and harm. You could say, well, they seem to be mild, or they seem to be passive, or they seem to be very reconciling, and, um, uh, you know, the sort of individual that is constantly presenting an olive branch, uh, uh, an opportunity to... um, put things right and to bring back some form of harmony. They are incredibly harmonious individuals. And I don't mean by that smoothies. <laughs> um, you know, the two-faced sort of person who's um, all things to all people and more than two-faced, therefore. Um, just deceptive. I think the nearest I can get to it is the Marshall Rosenberg approach of NVC, nonviolent communication. They um, don't inflame by their response and um, do bring a great deal of reconciliation and extend a great tolerance, um, both forgiveness and grace when uh, if you like there's no repentance there's no um, nobody's doing a u-turn but they seem to nonetheless extend grace and weather the situation a bit like our ideal approach to children which is I think um, I think it is the case that you don't come down heavy at the time unless it's an absolute emergency requiring it you um, let it burn out a bit and uh, wait until there's an opportunity where you can discuss it coolly and rationally and more objectively with the kitty who's been running a mock, you know, yesterday, say, or something. How did you feel, love? You know, did you? You weren't happy, were you? Really? No. Um, how can that be avoided, love? You know, from your own point of view, how can life be better than the way it went yesterday? How could it be sorted? And, um, hmm. Of course, there might be some cost to the efficiency of the organization uh, if we're going to be, um, well, compassionate in this way, tolerant. Um, putting up with um, situations that could be cut short at at someone else's expense. 
but um, what's the word I think I'm looking for? Passive passivity of um, response could be a great economic gain, avoiding great costs of um, discord and war and revenge and all sorts of nasty things. And as I've said elsewhere, I think this is a major part, if not the entire story of why we are in this universe. We're learning to be a blessing and avoid conflict situations, collateral damage from such and generally bring harmony that we may be a blessing eternally to all life as opposed to what we are at the minute <laughs> which is so often the cost yes, something like that thank you Dad you see we want to be a blessing and that seems to be much afforded by a trust in a benevolent, loving, all-powerful God. And that he's working in all lives, or quite simply to ultimately bring them to loveliness, eternal life. And in so, in such conception, in such view, we greatly want to be part of this loving care. And we abide in all opportunities that come to hand by God, our God. To facilitate such, to bring about this loveliness. So it's as if we are, and, and probably are, ever conscious of, well, very simply, that God loves this person that I'm considering at the minute and in contact with and find I'm with. And there may well be opportunity to be a blessing to them. And I delight then, you see, in, in, in finding such, looking for such and finding such, and very simply carrying it out and being a blessing. And feeling in that that one is Well, quite simply a lovely part of contributing to their welfare and uh, one's own welfare being preoccupied with such care and loving kindness is such a peace with oneself such a blessing to be in harmony with instead of at odds with those people we find we are near to. Mm. That's the ideal. And we seek most peacefully to abide in such. It's our preoccupation, I think. It's a way of living that forever is aware of the good. And 
how to encourage it and support such and be a blessing. And a continual delight in doing and achieving such, in being such blessing. that life becomes a continual delight in being a blessing to all the life around us. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>